As of today, we know of multiple medications to treat alopecia and one of the most important is minoxidil. However, we must be very careful with this medication in order not to use it incorrectly. That's why today we are going to show you the most common mistakes that are made when using minoxidil. First, it's important to know what minoxidil is and we have already talked about this medication in previous videos on SE canal. So if you are really interested in the topic, I recommend that you visit them. But in short, I can tell you that minoxidil is used to increase hair growth and reduce hair loss. The common mistakes people make when using minoxidil, a medication for treating their loss on both the scalp and beard is assuming that it will result in rapid hair growth. This misconception arises from the belief that using minoxidil for one or two months will yield significant results. However, like any treatment, minoxidil passes through different phases, which means that it will take at least six months to observe any noticeable outcome. This leads to another common mistake, discontinuing minoxidil use due to a lack of results. To see results with minoxidil, one must consistently use it for an extended period of time. Not being consistent in applying the treatment is another common mistake. It is crucial to apply minoxidil regularly as per the doctor's or manufacturer's instructions and not to skip any dose. Additionally, using an incorrect dosage is another mistake to avoid. Minoxidil comes in different concentrations and it is vital to use the appropriate concentration for the type of hair loss one is experiencing. Finally, one should consider the contraindications and side effects of using minoxidil. It can cause scalp itching, irritation and flacking, as well as decrease in blood pressure if absorbed in large quantities. Therefore, it is essential to carefully read the medication instructions and consult with the doctor before using it. One of the most common errors is to stop using minoxidil shortly after a year and the truth is that in order for minoxidil to work completely, we must use it for at least a year and a half or perhaps two years or even for the rest of our lives depending on what the doctors indicate. Therefore, it is important not to stop using minoxidil after a year. Another common mistake is not to buy minoxidil from safe pharmacies or establishments and instead buy it from other places or online. This is a big mistake that the minoxidil we get may not be genuine or may be adulterated. So we can recommend that you only buy minoxidil from safe and reliable places. And other common mistake is to think that using minoxidil will definitely make our hair grow. But the truth is that minoxidil is not capable of performing miracles. This means that if your genetics are not in favor of growing hair in certain areas of your head or skin, such as your beard, then it is possible that you may not have hair growth even if you use minoxidil. One of the most common errors when using topical minoxidil is thinking that it should only be applied to the hair or beard hair. But this is not the case. Minoxidil should be applied directly to the skin or scalp because that's where it truly takes effect. Another common mistake is not using the full daily dose if we can use less than the recommended dose. The effects will be reduced. But if we use more than we should, different side effects can occur. Therefore, it is advisable to ask your doctor or seller what the recommended dose is for you since it will also depend on each patient. Another error to consider is using minoxidil only in specific areas. Hair loss is usually progressive and will eventually attack different areas of your scalp or beard so it is recommended that you use minoxidil in the entire area of your head or in the entire area of your face where the beard appears another common mistake is not letting the treatment work many people tend to remove or clean off the treatment before it has had a chance to work it is ideal to leave a minimum of four hours after application for the treatment to take effect and then you can proceed to wash your scalp or skin. Minoxidil only in specific areas. The truth is that this does not work like that since alopecia tend to be progressive and sooner or later it will end up attacking different areas of your head or beard. 
Therefore, it is recommended that you use minoxidil in the complete area of your head or in the complete area of your face. That is, in the area where the beard appears. Another common mistake is not letting the treatment work. Many people tend to remove, eliminate or clean this treatment before it is able to act. Ideally, after applying it, you should leave a margin of at least 4 hours for this treatment to take effect. After this time, you can proceed to wash your head or skin. An other common mistake when using minoxidil for the beard is shaving it very frequently as this will prevent minoxidil from acting properly and can also damage our skin. Therefore, it is recommended that you shave every 2 or 3 weeks until the beard starts to become thicker. When this happens, instead of shaving it, you should trim it to allow the skin to heal gradually and for the treatment to work better each time. Another mistake to avoid is using minoxidil with other types of elements such as oils or balms. This will only prevent minoxidil from acting properly and the combination of so many products on your face or scalp can make your skin even worse. It is best to apply only minoxidil and wait for the 4 hours we mentioned earlier and then rinse it off with water and soap. After this process, you can use oils or balms to moisturize your skin. These are the most common mistakes, but if you know of others or have experienced something and want to share it, you can do so through the comment section. This way, you can share it with the community and help others. And don't forget to support the channel by leaving a like, subscribing or sharing the video. Don't forget to follow us on different social media platforms and also don't forget that you can let us know what you think about the video or suggest topics that you would like to see in future videos in the comment section below. Also before you go, I would like to mention that in the information box in the description, I have included two important links. The first link is for the official makeup blog where you can find any information you need to know about the hair care world. The second link is for those of you who are going through any type of hair process or evolution and would like to share it on our channel with photos. You can do so by sending an email to the address provided in the information box in the description or by tagging us on social media with at the rate makeup.com. And in a future video, we will analyze all the different cases that you have sent us. I will say goodbye here and see you in the next video. Greetings and goodbye.